If you follow gardening influencers on social media, you might think that gardening isn't affordable anymore and nothing can be further from the truth. There are so many ways to save money while gardening and I'm gonna share four with you today. Now you may have seen my book before, it's full of all of my seed packets and I save these from year to year because seeds are the most affordable way to start a garden. Buying plants for your garden to do a large garden is very, very expensive. But one seed packet for $2.99 can give me dozens of plants as opposed to one plant at the garden center. I also recommend going out and finding some swap groups. Seed swaps and plant swaps are a very affordable way to continue gardening. For example, this little packet has hundreds of little future kale plants in it. Well, I could start dozens of these, take them to a swap, and swap some six packs of kale for one or two really established pepper plants, for example. So being able to save seeds and start from seed isn't just about growing from seed, it's about your ability to be able to go swap with others. You can swap seeds or plants, and you probably find a group on Facebook locally. The other great thing about swaps is that you're gonna meet people who are like-minded. You'll meet other gardeners that you can work with and maybe you can go beyond trading and start helping each other out. But that kind of resource in your community is really, really important. So go find a swap. Number three, save your own seeds. These are some green beans that I've been saving. These were from 2021. And I have lots of green beans still going from one harvest several years ago. This is a very affordable way, and it's easy to do with things like cucumbers, tomatoes, melons, squash, green beans, very easy to save. And my fourth tip is to save money by not buying a lot of expensive fertilizers. I love bone meal and blood meal and kelp, and all of these things are great for your garden, but they are expensive. You can do it yourself naturally by investing in a little bit of garbage. For example, my compost consists of wood chips that I get dropped. I have a huge pile right now in my driveway from a chip drop from a local tree company. They were working in my area, I'm on the list, they drop off wood chips, they're going in the compost. Wood chips, manure from my chicken coop, grass clippings, leaves, these are all things that are literally garbage that I turn into black gold, put it on my garden for healthier plants.